Chef Buck here, and today we are going to make a bacon cheese wrap thing with bread. I had this at a cafe in Guadalajara, because we're in Mexico. Uh, if you want to check out our travel vids, our Mexico vids, I'll have a link down below. You can go over to our Slowpoke Travel, our other channel. This only has a very few ingredients. Bread, bacon, cheese. If you want, you can add something to go inside, like jalapenos or onions or garlic or something like that. This is just some cilantro. Because bacon and bread and cheese is so good, but it's kind of plain too. So if you want to jazz it up, you can throw something else in here. But we're just going to make it kind of plain. Okay. Bread. You want a crusty bread. Something with kind of a shell for stuffing. Now, I've got these little doohickey things here. I've never made one this small, and I don't know if this is going to work. But I'll try it. But I'm just going to take this little loafy thing and cut it in half. Because I'm going to make two of these. And I think this is a good size. Because it's not overly large, but it's large enough for an entree. But if you make it much bigger than this, then it's going to take a lot of bacon. It's going to take a lot of bacon anyway. <laughs> you said that like it was a bad thing. Oh, I love right. bacon. So we want to dig out a little cavern for our cheese. Mm. And you want to put as much cheese in here as you want. There is no wrong amount of cheese, but keep in mind that cheese will want to melt and run out. So your main job is to try to keep the cheese from running out of here. So I'm going to try to do that and I'm going to reserve this to use as a plug, as a cheese plug, which is a hardware cooking term. <laughs> and the bread you use is very important. You know, I had to look around and try I tried a couple of different kinds of breads to find one that I was happy with. Or you just need an excuse to eat more bacon and cheese and bread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyway, there's a nice little cavern. And I'm using a white cheese. I like white cheese because it's cheese, but it's a subtle cheese. It's the George Clooney of cheeses. Didn't overwhelm the bacon flavor that you want. Oh, then I gotta take that back because <laughs> Mr. Clooney is quite overwhelming. Oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna throw some cheese in here. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna shove it in there. How much is that? That doesn't seem like a lot. I'm gonna put more. This is this, this is, is a, a I'm asking for trouble here. I'm asking for trouble. Because now I can already tell this is more cheese than I want. And this bread's kind of crumbly. I bought this a few days ago. I probably I probably should have got fresher bread. But I'm gonna use this bread here and just kind of plug it up and make a bread door. It doesn't feel all that secure though. The bacon will what, have that. I tell you, I'm not, yeah, 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 the bacon's going to act as a part of the wrap too, but I'm not, I'm not feeling overly confident, but I'm going to do my best. And the thing is, if, if your cheese leaks out, it's not good. What? It's not good, but the thing is, it might leak a little bit, but you just got to minimize it the, the best that you can. When we wrap this, the bacon is going to act as a seal as well. But the thing is, you know, we're going to wrap it in bacon and then we're going to cook it and then the bacon is going to tighten around it like a python oh and help to seal it in. But the thing is, it also does that to your heart. <laughs> <laughs> the more bacon you eat, it wraps you know around your heart. Okay, so you don't eat it every day, but come on. You're making this because you're going to enjoy it. Exactly, exactly. People, people have a lick of sense. They know this is not what you need to eat once yeah, or twice yeah, in a lifetime. Okay, now look at it there. I've got cheese. Oh shoot, I didn't put in my uh, cilantro. cilantro. I'll do it in the other one. So boom, I got my, my bread cheese surprise. Now the first strip I'm going to do, and you want to use thin bacon, because we're going to use quite a few strips to wrap around here. So you don't want to get overly thick bacon. So we're going to take our bread, and we're going to give a nice little wrap around the front, kind of to seal the door, to seal the cheesy door with bacon. Next strip, I will overlap it again and wrap it around, pressing it into the flesh of the bread and manipulating it like you would a loved one. <laughs> All right, let's see. You're demented. Now I will wrap it the other way, crossways. And it doesn't matter how you wrap it. It really doesn't. There isn't a right way or a wrong way. As long as you wrap it as tightly as you can 
and overlap it as thinly as you can so that the bacon will cook as quickly as possible. See, I've got some gaps in there. But you know, that's, that's what life is like. It's not perfect. Well, as you said, you want the bacon to cook evenly. Yeah, I don't want to have like three strips of bacon, you know, overlapping each other so that it's, that's going to take forever to cook or that I'll have raw or less cooked bacon than I want underneath. But you just wrap it around like a bandage and it kind of seals and sticks together. This is the fifth one. Let's see if I should do it this way. A lot of it is you got to go by feeling. They used to call me the, uh, the bacon whisperer because uh, my only friend was bacon. And so I just talked to bacon. How does this feel? So I'm giving it a nice little squeeze, a bacony squeeze. Boom, boom, boom. Feels pretty good. Feels very bacony. So I will try this little roll here. This doesn't seem like I got enough room or it's not big enough to dig out a good cheese hole. Again, another a uh, technical cooking term, cheese hole. So that's going to be the equivalent of a bacon slider. Put the camera down and cut the cheese camera group because my hands are too uh, my hands are too that. I, mean, I like how you put the camera right next to the edge because that doesn't make me nervous. <laughs> this bread is just falling apart. I, I'm not feeling very confident in this here. Oh, but it's buttery and yummy. Let's see. I'll put a little bit more cheese now. I'll come over here. And I'll take a little bit of this cilantro. It's like a bread oyster. put in here. That's a good little size. Mm -hmm. And you're probably thinking, well, this is a lot of trouble. You know, this is kind of tedious taking this bacon and wrap it around like here. But it's worth it because it's, it just looks so good. You know, so if you want to impress somebody, this is, this is the thing to do. Alrighty, so that's one strip of bacon around the edge. Now let me do... One this way here. Boom, boom, boom. That's two strips of bacon. I'm going to do three strips of bacon on this little roll. It's the mini mummy. And this isn't the greatest bacon. You know, this looks like uh, the clothes I used to wear in high school. What do you mean? The clothes you still wear. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to wrap it this way here. So boom, boom, boom. So I got a little wrap there. Now... You could just put these in the oven, but you know, it's bacon. That's going to make kind of a mess. So I'm going to do it in a toaster oven because then it's more of a controlled mess. Hmm. You know, there's less to clean up, but you want to make sure you cook them on a wire rack with some foil on the bottom of whatever you're going to cook it over because it will drip a little bit of bacon grease. Now I could cook it in this oven or this oven at 350 degrees to the desired doneness that I like. And that'll take however long it takes. You know, you're just going to eyeball it until the outside bacon is done as you like it. But if you want to speed up the cooking process, you can use the microwave. I want to go ahead and throw a paper towel over my bacon so it doesn't splatter too much. And I'm going to microwave it for about two to three minutes to give it a head start. And then that way, it will reduce the cooking time. Now, I'm not a big fan of the microwave, but we're staying at Airbnbs. So there's always a microwave, so I'm going to use it. But normally, I would choose counter space over microwaves. But you probably got a microwave. So let me do this. Boom. Two minutes. And it, that's a powerful microwave. Is it? Mm hmm They should call it fuck. Yeah. So that is two minutes in the microwave. See how greasy that looks? That's why I wanted to have the paper towel on here so it wouldn't splatter everywhere. See that little bit of grease on the bottom of the plate? Sure. I'm going to go ahead and Make cover it. it up here for another minute. Like give, it a, give it another minute in the microwave. That way we're expediting it a little bit more. And that won't make the bread hard? That's the thing. That's why I don't want to cook the whole thing in the microwave. Because microwaves and bread they're just not buddies. All right, we'll call it there. That is two and a half minutes in the microwave. Gives it a little bit of a head start. You can see the bacon's already starting to tighten up there a little bit. And I'm gonna put it on a wire rack so that the bacon grease will drip down and it'll help it to get crispy all around. And now I will slide it in the oven. I've already got it 350 degrees. 
We'll just let it cook away. We'll check on it periodically and see what happens. Beep, 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 beep. I can hear it bubbling a little bit. It's collecting some bacon juice down in there, but I'm going to go ahead and give them a turn. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go ahead and roll them over. And they're starting to get all wrapped up, squeezing in there like King Tut. Bacon mummies. All right, and then we'll slide them back in the oven. Boom. Let them continue to cook away. Beep, 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 beep. All righty, so it has been about 35 minutes. And as you can see, they're slightly arranged a little bit differently because I turned these two on their side to get a little more color because it's so fat. My cheese is starting to leak out a little bit, but it's not an avalanche of cheese. It's not all on the bottom. I haven't lost my cheese. It's just a cheese spot on your it's just, mummy. It's just a slight cheese spot on my record. <laughs> but, you know, now that I've got them out of the oven, it will begin to cool immediately, so I'm not gonna lose my cheese and it's nice and melty inside. But that's it. Now it's ready to go. They're ready to eat. It's great with a salad. I mean, this is, this is anti-salad. You know, it's bread and meat and cheese. But you know, if you make a nice salad and put it on top and then serve it, then it almost seems acceptable. You know, kind of brunchy looking. You know, if you make some extra ones and put them in the refrigerator, you can take them out of the fridge and eat them cold. Just like that. Surprisingly delicious. Yeah, I'll cut this little dinky do one. Doesn't that look super duper? Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Cheesy. And I got a little bit of cilantro in here, but you don't have to put that in there. You don't have to put anything in there. But any little flavors you add is going to add uh, more flavor, as they say in the <laughs> science community. You're going to burn your tongue. You're going to eat it all. Then I won't get any. The plight of being the camera girl. It's so good. Boy, and that little bit of cilantro. I was going to say, I could see onion and garlic. and. Yeah, I think garlic would be very tasty. So we'll give it a slice. Give it a little taste test. Still steamy, dreamy in there. And I think that's a good amount of cheese. You know, you want to make sure and have enough cheese to go in here because, you know, the bread and the bacon, you know, those are kind of dry ingredients, especially if you cook it well enough to get the bacon kind of crispy on the outside. So you want that cheese to add a little bit of creaminess. Mm. That's so good. I mean, it's bread, bacon, and cheese. How is it not going to be good? Still uh, steamy, 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 so uh, be careful. I don't want to run you off to the Mexican emergency room. You look like you're ready to take off in a biplane. My neck was cold. All righty, well there you have it. Uh, a bacon cheese wrap thingamabob. Uh, go ahead and give that recipe a try. Uh, I'll have a link down below and you can go over to our website, myfoodchannel.com. Uh, check the recipe out, print all our recipes over there. Check out our travel channel, Slowpoke Travel. I'll have a link down below for that as well. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. We really appreciate it and we'll see you in the future.